Welcome back to the Data Professor YouTube channel. If you're new here, my name is Chenin Nanta Senamad, and I'm an Associate Professor of Bioinformatics. On this YouTube channel, we cover about data science concepts and practical tutorials. So if you're into this type of content, please consider subscribing. Okay, so a couple of days ago, I released a video on how you can use Pandas profiling in a Jupyter Notebook, which worked perfectly fine. It allows you to do very rapid exploratory data analysis. But the thing is, for those of you who wanted to use it for Google Colab, found out that it could not be installed properly, particularly the library installed without a problem. But when we try to generate the report, it gives us an error. So after hacking the installation process for quite some time, in this video, I'm going to show you how you can install Pandas profiling and make it work right inside the Google Colab. So without further ado, let's get started. Okay, so the first thing that you want to do is head over to the GitHub of the Data Professor, click on the code repository, scroll down, click on Python, scroll down, find pandas profiling example okay so this minimal working example of pandas profiling pretty much took the code from the github of pandas profiling itself and the link is shown here and if you find this notebook useful please sign into your Kaggle account and give a thumbs up to support this notebook so that other people can see this as well and also to keep me motivated in making new videos and i greatly appreciate your support okay so let's download this into your computer by right clicking on the raw link and save link as and then select the location and save it okay and then let's go to the Google Colab and let me increase the font size a bit as some of you have requested that the font size might be a little bit small since some of you might be using your mobile phone in watching this video okay so I hope this size is okay okay so the first thing that you want to do here is you want to install the pandas profiling so let's do that. pip install pandas profiling. Okay, and now it's installed. And let's scroll down to import the libraries. Okay, and so here we're going to import three libraries. The first one will be NumPy, the second one will be pandas, and the third one will be pandas profiling. So let's go ahead and run that. And so we're going to create a data frame here called df and we're going to populate that with random numbers generated from numpy and here we will generate 100 rows and five columns and the columns will comprise of a b c d e let's go ahead and run that okay let's check out the column here so as you can see we have the df here containing 100 rows and five columns so they're randomly generated all right and let's go ahead and create the profile okay and so you notice here that it gives out this plot histogram error so i guess many of you might have encountered this error and so let me show you how you can bypass this error so when we install using pip install this is the error that we will get so we'll probably have to wait for the developers and pandas profiling to update their pip on the pypy but in the meantime let's check out how we can install it using github so let's copy this here pip install and then the github link so this is not working okay and so i'm gonna delete this pip install cell and then we're gonna have only the one with github and let's restart the kernel okay so it's installed via github and let's load in the library okay and then let's create the data frame again okay and let's have a look at the data frame okay and so this is the data set here and okay so it already run successfully but let me run it again so that you can see all right so here you go it's running perfectly fine here so the first argument here is the name of the data frame that we're going to use as the input argument and the report will be called this in the title argument and in the html argument it's going to say that for the style of the report it's going to be full width because full width is true so this is meaning that the report will occupy the full length of the width 
And so you see that the report is generated without a problem here. But for the widget, there might be a problem. Let's have a look at what the problem is. So here, you're going to see that the widget is not displaying properly. So it's not working. The tab here are not working. So all of the images are just displayed. So all of the graphic images that you see here are displayed vertically stacking on top of one another instead of being hidden inside each of these tab. So the widget version here is not working. Okay, so let me zoom out so that you can have a look at the report here. Let's just maintain it at 150%. So you're going to see that it's not looking optimally. Right? But don't worry, there is a way. Let's scroll down. Let's create a new cell. Let's delete this and create a new code cell. And no worries because we're going to use the HTML instead. So this is not working. So we're going to use this notebook iframe. Let's try this. Okay, and it's working. This one is working, no problem. Okay, variables. So the first column variable, and this is the descriptive statistics. Column B, column C, column D, column E. And interactions is right here. So you could just click on the tab at the top here if you want to hop on to the next topic. So let's look at the interaction, meaning the scatter plot between each of the five variables here. So the interaction between AA or the scatter plot of A and A itself. So we're going to see this. Okay. So as you can see, maybe the full width is not a good way of displaying this. Let me go up and say full width to be false. Let's generate the report again. And hopefully it will be much smaller so that we can see the graph here properly. Okay, it's a bit smaller, so it should be okay now. The variables, the interactions. Okay, so scatter plot between each of the variables B, A, B and E, B and D, B and C, B and B, B and A, right? C and A, C and B, C and C, and etc. So you could have up to 25 combinations because we have five columns and we're doing a intra correlation here. All right, so let's look at the heat map of the Pearson's correlation coefficient, Spearman's, Kendall's, and Fick. And the missing values here, the matrix here, okay, and the samples. So the first 10 rows here, and the last 10 rows of the data set. All right, so it's working perfectly. So remember to use this profile dot to notebook iframe, okay? So let's say that you want to make this report more portable. So you could export it as a HTML file. So what you want to do is scroll down on the GitHub of Pandas Profiling. And in the saving the report, you want to copy that. And then let's paste it in here. Let's create a new code cell. And in the yourreport.html, you want to customize this. Let's call it report. Or just capital report.html. Run that. And let's have a look. Okay, so report.html is generated. Let's have a look inside the file. Okay, and let's say that you want to download this file. So you want to right click on it, download, and it's right here. Okay, and it's interactive.
you could click on it right and you get to see the quick exploratory data analysis report generated by the pandas profiling so this comes in handy when you want to send this to a coworker, to a friend to your teammate okay so it's very portable so you can email this html file to your colleague okay and that's all i mean you have successfully installed pandas profiling on the google collab and so it's working perfectly now with a little hack and if you find value in this video please give it a thumbs up and subscribe if you haven't yet done so and give this a thumbs up on Kaggle notebook and the links are in the description and until next time the best way to learn data science is to do data science and so please enjoy the journey thank you for watching please like subscribe and share and I'll see you in the next one but in the meantime please check out these videos